Hi viewers, in this video, we will discuss about what is TCP IP model, what is a UDP model and difference between TCP and UDP. So, TCP IP. It uses client-server model where a computer, that is, a server, provides services to a user or a machine, that is, a client, in a network. It is a connection-oriented protocol where connection is established till the applications finish exchanging the data. It is a stateless protocol where it doesn't keep any track of communication information of systems. Using TCP IP protocol, the internet works which means it allows two systems to communicate via internet. It manages half a message is assembled into small packets before data transmission and are again reassembled in a sequential order at destination. IP defines how to address and route each packet to deliver the message to right destination. TCP IP model consists of four layers. The first one is application layer. It is a topmost layer in TCP IP model. This layer relates to session presentation and application layer in OSA model. It handles process to process communication functions, different functions like session establishment, maintaining and terminating, data conversion, compression and encryption, remote access, etc. are carried out in this layer. It provides network services to applications. The protocols used in this layer are SSL, FTP, DNS, SMTP, HTTP, TLS, etc. The next layer is transport layer. This layer is mainly used for data transmission and also adds header information to the data. It breaks the data into smaller units and also responsible for arranging the packets in a sequence order at destination. In transport layer, functions like multiplexing, segmenting or splitting of data is done. The next one is internet layer. To transfer the packets across a network, it connects independent networks. For error reporting, IP and ICMP protocols are used. Packets can travel independently to the destination. Order of packets are different when they are sent and received. Functions like traffic routing and control, fragmentation and logical addressing is done. And IP, ICMP and IGMP protocols are used in this layer. The lowest layer in TCP IP model is network access layer. It is a combination of physical and data link layer. It is responsible for data transmission over a physical network. Functions like modulation, line coding and bit synchronization, frame synchronization and error detection etc. are done. And protocols like ARP and PP are used in this layer. UDP model. UDP is connectionless protocol and used to send small messages called datagrams. UDP is used mainly in real-time services like video conferencing and real-time computer games. Unlike TCP, UDP doesn't provide error checking and error connection of data. So, it saves bandwidth. It is more efficient for both latency and bandwidth. As we know, small unit messages are sent that are called as datagrams. By processing each output operation, one UDP datagram is produced that causes one IP datagram to be sent. The first 8 bytes of datagram contains header information and the remaining bytes contains message data. The UDP datagram header has 4 fields of 2 bytes each. First source port. It used to identify source port number. The destination port. It is used to identify the destination packet port. Length. Its length of UDP that includes header and the data. Checksum. It computes as a 16 bit once complement of the once complement sum of pseudo header of information from IP header, UDP header, and data that needs to be padded with 0 bytes at the end to make a multiple of 2 bytes. The checksum can be disabled by setting it to 0. To allow implementations to operate with the little computations, designers make checksum as optional. Now, we will see some differences between TCP and UDP. It is a connection-oriented protocol, while UDP is a connectionless. 
The header size of TCP is 20 bytes while the UDP is of 8 bytes. In TCP, the messages are sent from one computer to another computer over the internet. In UDP, a lots of packets are sent from one to another and ends the relationship. TCP is best for applications that needs high reliability with less critical transmission time. UDP is best for applications that needs efficient and fast transmission like gaming applications. TCP uses HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, SMTP, Telnet protocols, while UDP uses DNS, DHCP, TFTP, SNMP, RAP, and VoIP protocols. TCP rearranges data packets in a specific order, while UDP doesn't follow any specific order. So, if we want to manage it, we should manage that in application layer. TCP does error checking and error recovery, while in UDP there is no concept of error checking and error recovery. In TCP, we have a three-way handshake, while in UDP, it doesn't have any three-way handshake. So, this is about the concept of TCP and UDP. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video. For more videos, please download our application Cyber Future Tech from Google Play Store.